Hey everyone, it's Katie Babcock, APTV Senior Northwest Correspondent, and welcome to my very messy room. <laughs> Over the next couple weeks, I'm going to be releasing four videos based around Warp Tour looks. So this video is going to be on how to get simple, easy hairstyles for Warp Tour, and then I'm going to be doing a few on makeup, do's and don'ts, what outfits are best to wear to outdoor festivals like Warp Tour, and then I'm going to do a survival guide, so what to bring and what not to forget for Warp Tour. So stay tuned and I will show you how to get this really simple, easy hairstyle. The must-haves are the beach spray. For every single look and pretty much every day, I always use beach spray. It allows me to have a lot of texture in my hair. It's easy to move around and I never wear my hair straight just because it's hard to deal with. So this is definitely my number one must have. Tresemme Super Hold. Tres 2, the green one. I have been using this for years. It always works for me. Um, it's really cheap again. And it doesn't make your hair crunchy. I don't like it when it's crunchy. This allows you to still touch your hair and it feels soft. So I highly recommend this hairspray. These are my must-haves. For Warp Tour specifically, I personally want to avoid all hair head crowns, flower crowns, hair accessories, bobby pins. You're outside. You're going to be bouncing around listening to music. Everything is going to fall out. So that's why I recommend only using up to four bobby pins because they're secure. They're not going to go anywhere. Um, but flower crowns are adorable. They look so cute. But do you really think they're the best thing to wear to Warped Earth? Think about it for a second. All right, guys. So the first hairstyle I'm going to show you is my low pony and a lot of volume in the top. Um, it's more of a casual looking pony and there's really little to no effort put in it. So for my ponytail, I'm going to put in my clip in hair extension ponytail, but you do not need a clip in pony to achieve this look. So if you just have normal lengthy hair, then go ahead. But I like having a really long thick ponytail. So I am going to use this, but I'm going to show you the steps. So to start off with, I sprayed my hair with the beach spray just to give it, you know, more of a messy look. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna back comb pretty much my entire head. Um, not necessarily for it to be big, but just for it to get messy and have that nice big bump in the back where your ponytail is. After you're done back combing the back, just put it down, mess it around a little bit, just like this. After I'm done back combing, I'm gonna go and take out the front sections of my hair, just where the ears are, just like this. Wanna do that on both sides. And then once you have those sections pulled out, you wanna go ahead and just put your hair in a normal ponytail. So just like so, easy ponytail, just like this. After that, you wanna go ahead and start pulling out pieces of the hair to make it bigger and just really mess it around. Just don't be afraid to get messy. You can fix it up a bit later if you want it to be neater. You're gonna wanna have about two or three bobby pins, not a lot. Um, you wanna try avoiding bobby pins as much as possible just because you are gonna be outside all day, you're gonna be at a concert and you don't want anything falling out. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave some pieces out here because I want it to be a little more casual. So you literally just put it where you want it to be and you just bobby pin it. Really simple. Um, I normally like to do it under the ponytail around here so you don't see it. Now that you got all the pieces clipped in, this is the really easy part. You just go in and you start texturizing yourself. So this area here, I'm just going to start pulling to make it a bit messier. And then to really make it look messy and to hold everything in place, I'm just going to spray it with my Tresemme hairspray. Okay, so for the next look, I just put my hair extensions in. Again, you don't have to have hair extensions to be able to do this style, but I like my hair really long and thick. So I'm just going to go in with my barrel curler here. And I'm going to take large sections and I'm just going to go ahead and curl 
a little bit um, just to give it a little more wave and have it not be so straight. Now after I get my hair to the wave that I want it to be at, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to put loose braids all over my head. Um, this is good for girls who are going to be in the mosh pit and you know running around and don't really care about what their hair looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put braids in random spots. I'm going to start in the front here. Now, in some of the braids, I won't go all the way down, I'll just go part way down. And I'm not going to put a hair elastic in it to keep it in. I'm actually going to back comb the bottom of where the braid is. Then I'm going to go ahead and back comb inside the braid so they stay messy. And you have little hairs coming out of it so it looks kind of like a fishtail braid. I'm just gonna put two braids in but normally I would go in the bottom and put a few little ones just to you know even things out now I want my hair to be out of my face so I'm gonna go ahead and take the braids from the front and a few other pieces of hair and I'm just gonna start to push it back almost like a braided crown so I'm just gonna take my bobby pin and I'm gonna stick it right in there See, just a loose little pin right there. And I'm going to take this one and I'm also going to drag some hair from my hairline here as well. So you can't see my hair extensions. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pin this braid in place as well. Easiest look ever. So I have like a little braided crown now. Um, you can back comb to like the desired bump, I guess, but I don't like to back comb that much unless my hair extensions are fairly higher. So here you have it, a really natural, messy, beautiful, like bohemian look. Super easy, two big braids, and the look's complete. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to pick up AP issue 324 for all things Warped Tour 2015 and to see yours truly in this month's style section. If you have any questions about these looks, make sure to tweet me at cbabs and follow me on Instagram at cbabs. See you next time.